While visiting Hong Kong last November, my wife and I took a trip up to the top of Victoria Peak, and we did that via the Peak Tram. Now, even though it's referred to as a tram, it technically is a funicular railway because of the steep incline it goes up. Now, originally, when it started running in 1888, these cars were pulled by steam engines right up until 1926. And then they switched to electric cars. The one shown in the picture here is a replica of the ones that ran in 1926, made of wood and very heavy, and didn't carry a lot of passengers. Now, the electric cars had a cable attached to them for hauling them up the grade and lowering them down, and also it's a safety feature so they wouldn't come crashing down the bottom of the hill and so forth. Each car had a cable, and they would pass each other about halfway up there was like a passing track as the cables run parallel to each other. In the next picture, you can see a lightweight metal car built in 1956. These cars were able to haul about 62 passengers. Now, over the years, for upgrades in that, the funicular railway, or the peak tram, was rebuilt and closed down during those rebuild periods. The most recent was in 1989 when a Swiss company known as Van Roll installed brand new track, a computerized system, and some brand new two car trams, which can haul up to 120 passengers each. Now, the other closure I'll mention was not due to a rebuilding system, but it's unfortunately due to World War II when the Japanese captured Hong Kong. The tram was shut down from 1941, didn't reopen until the end of the war in 1945. Now that I've gone through a brief history in that, please enjoy the video I have shot here of going up the peak, going down, and also some video I shot while well, not riding a tram, but seeing the tram go by and such. Thank you for watching this video. If you like what you saw and wish to see more content on model trains and real trains, please subscribe to my channel.